So you want to start streaming? Great, because streaming is so fun and so rewarding. And it even has the potential to make you a little bit of money doing what you love. There's nothing worse than being excited to start something and then the tech gets in your way. So in this video, I'm going to fast track you so you can get started. All you need to do is start. It doesn't have to be perfect. OBS is the ultimate tool to kickstart your streaming journey. Don't be intimidated by it because we are going to get you set up and ready to stream in less than 10 minutes. Let's go. All right, the first step is to download OBS from the official website. Don't worry, it's free and it's available for Mac and Windows. Of course, I'm gonna link it in the description. You're gonna go through and install it just like you would any other app or program. Now that OBS is installed, let's configure the settings to get you started right away. When you open up OBS for the first time, you should see something that says Auto Configuration Wizard. If you don't, you're gonna select Tools at the top, Auto Configuration Wizard. And here you have a couple of different selections. Optimize for streaming, recording a secondary, that is probably what you're gonna be doing if you're watching this video. Click Next, and then you're gonna choose your base canvas resolution. Usually it's 1920 by 1080. And then for frames per second, you can choose, this is what I have mine set at, 60 or 30, prefer 60 when possible. Then we go to Next. You're gonna then connect your service. If you're wanting to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, you can also do a custom if you want to stream to Kick. You're going to connect your account. It's going to ask you to authorize. So you're going to log in with your username and your password. Okay. Then when it's all finished, you're going to go ahead and click next. Wait for it. Let the bandwidth test run. And then it will tell you the program has determined that these estimated settings are ideal for you. All right. So it's going to take into consideration your bandwidth, your computer system, all that good stuff. Click apply settings. All right. We are ready to go. Now, anytime you want to change this, it's very easy. All you need to do is go into settings, click on settings. Here you have general, stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, accessibility, and advanced. Output is where you're going to change your bit rate, your audio bit rate, your video encoder. On video, this is where you can change your base canvas. You always want to keep your base canvas and your output scaled. You want to keep those the same. And one more thing to note, right now it's in simple mode, but if you need more customization, you would click on advance and you get more options and more choices. But again, we use the auto configuration wizard, so we're going to just leave it at that. All right, now we're going to add scenes and sources. This is the fun stuff. Over here on the far left, it says scenes. If you want to add anything in OBS, you always are going to click the plus button. So we click on plus, we get to rename it. We're going to have probably to start like three scenes. We'll have a starting scene a main scene and maybe a be right back or intermission scene. So let's just work on our main scene for right now. Type in main. Now within our main scene, if we head over to the right, this is sources. So we want to click on the plus button. Let's add our camera first. So I'm going to click on video capture device. It's going to say new. We'll just call this our main camera or you can call it whatever you like. Click OK and now a drop down menu is going to pop up. You're going to scroll down until you see which is your camera. This one's mine. So there we go. Click OK. We've got our first source in our scene. All right, now let's add a screen capture so we can show what we're doing, whether we're playing a game or if we're doing art or if we're showing off our DJ equipment or whatever we have going on. We're gonna click the plus button, screen capture. We're gonna call this, just call this screen. Same thing, you get to choose from the drop down. Okay, so now we've added two things, our screen, it's capturing our screen and we have our main camera. Now the thing that you need to know about sources is whatever is on the top is what's gonna be showing first in the layer. So if I want my main camera to be showing first, I would click that and then I have my screen showing second. So we want to see both of these things, right? So we need to resize our camera. The way you resize any source is to click on it, go to the corner, just drag it with your mouse and there you have it. So now we have our camera and we are sharing our screen. Now if this video has helped you, hit that subscribe button, turn on the little bell notification so you don't miss any videos about streaming and how to grow but only if you like to have fun while you learn. All right, so we've got our video, we've got our camera. Now what we need to do is add our microphone. Same thing, we go click the plus button and we're going to look for audio input capture. We're gonna just call this our mic and our device, whatever your device is. So for me, I'm using a Scarlett interface, so I'm gonna choose that. Um, yours could be just your microphone, 
Yours could be your camera microphone. It could be anything like that. Click OK. Now, one of the most fun things to do is to create an experience for the viewer. So you're going to want to experiment with overlays and different widgets and things that you can put on your stream. There's a whole bunch of stuff on Owned Pro that's for free. Another great one is Nerd or Die. If you're a beginner, these are just easy ways to get going fast. Because remember, we just want to get going. We want to get moving. We don't want to spend a lot of time worrying about this because you're going to change things a lot as you progress as a streamer. So now that you're all set, the only thing left to do is to hit start streaming. It's not going to be perfect and that's okay. We all have to start from zero. So just get out there and do it. Don't make it fancy. Make it bare bones. Start it. Do it today. If you have any questions, just reply in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you. Or you can join our Discord and I'll get back to you there. And now that you're finally streaming, let's talk about how to get affiliate. I made this video about how to become an affiliate in 30 days or less. Check it out.